April is here and this is my only April channel. If you're new here, we make a lot of DIY projects from art, woodworking, you know, like furniture for kids. I mean, that's kind of my speciality a little bit. And all other fun projects like room makeovers. So if you're new here, please uh, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell button to be notified when I'm posting new videos. And today we're gonna do something a bit different. I mean, no, not really that much different because we're gonna create some Art. Unfortunately, this is not what I had planned to make for today, but I got the uh, con congested, congested, congested nose, as you can hear. <laughs> and uh, you know the idea to be in the garage right now in minus 13, and my garage is not heated, and to make this woodworking project that I was like thinking about, it just doesn't sound like very good. So I decided to stay home, cozy it up in my office, and I'm gonna create today some I'll call this art. I mean, yes. So it's basically some piece of beautiful decor. Are you ready for it? Let's get started. To make this project, first of all, we're gonna need a frame, some sort of frame. So I found this in Goodwill. I already disassembled it. And uh, yeah, it had like a backing board and it has like some cute uh, as part two. But first, please check in your house because I'm pretty sure you can find like any frame and you know, the size doesn't really matter because you can make it as uh, big or small as you want. So besides the frame, we're gonna need some clay. So I have this modeling clay and um, it's a uh, air drying clay, but if it's not gonna be enough, because you see I have like half of pack of this dust clay, then I still have like a backup of some, of some sort because I have those sculpy ones. Uh, but then we need to bake them. And uh, if you watched like my previous video uh, with the Christmas ornaments, <laughs> the baking process didn't go as well, I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, so we'll see. I hope this is gonna be enough clay for today. And then we're gonna need some paint, but uh, let's get started first and let's prepare the frame for this little cute art. I wanna add like a white sheet over here. It's gonna stick perfectly to the board. If you want to make your own frame, you can always do so too. And uh, you can watch the video when I made the pin board for that, for that project. You know, like I couldn't find the uh, frame the right size. So I just simply made my own. Okay, perfect. Yay. Actually, not so fast. You know what? I'm probably gonna reinforce it and add some more staples over here okay so i couldn't find the staples so i'm just using a small tiny small screws and i'm gonna screw them on the side so it's kind of going to protect the board from uh from wobbling because we need it very secure we're gonna have clay on top of it yeah okay so check this out okay i need one more from this side one more here. Yeah, and not we're gonna screw it in, not all the way in, but just a little bit to hold it. So much better. Okay, now I can feel that this is secure. So I cut out like a little piece of paper, you know, like, and this is gonna be basically the board of where the uh, clay pieces will go. And I'm gonna draw like approximately how it's gonna look and where the places of uh, clay will go. When we have our sketch ready, we're gonna uh, go ahead and we're gonna start start making the shapes. I like to put the parchment paper on the surface, so you know, like when you use clay, and um, it's not it's not damaging the surface. It actually helps it to go smoother. Okay, let's do it. And for my roller pin, you know, like I'm using glass because I found that glass uh, is the most uh, it's a kind of like the best material to work with. Make sure that there's no uh, wrinkles. And if you see some wrinkles, just wet that surface a little bit and smooth it out. 
I also feel is an idea that this uh, thing would look super cool if you'd use uh, stones and I think I saw it uh, DIY Danny, I'm sure you know her, she's brilliant. She made uh, some sort of like art from from the stones that she found on the beach, but um, I mean it probably would not be possible with this particular one because um, because we making like kind of like a straight shape and it would be hard to find a stones this shape, but um, you know what if you're opting out only for oval and like round shapes then you can totally go just with the stones and then just paint the stones like like Danny did. Yeah, I think it's coming out so nicely, but my hands, they're so, so, so dry. So after you finish with the whole clay thing, make sure that um, you moisturize your hands because otherwise they're gonna be like dry and it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, and for those corner pieces, we're just gonna cut it with the, uh, with the knife, cut the sides and then, yeah, and that's pretty much be it so they're all ready and now we're gonna leave them to dry and then we're gonna put them on the frame good morning friends so it's been 24 hours and those things the little things they almost dried and I'm gonna go ahead and I will paint them so you can kind of have two options how to paint them you can use a house paint and just like dip them in but I don't have that much time so I'm just gonna use acrylic paints and this is the colors that I chose hmm, one of my favorites but burnt sienna and I'm gonna combine all these colors with white so we're gonna make some sort of like nice pastel good looking colors <laughs> I think they're gonna look good with the brown frame that we have over here oh, brushes water ready white base Try and see how this is gonna look. So I'm gonna paint them one by one and then later I'm gonna attach them to the to our board. So now we're gonna let this whole thing to dry and then we're gonna attach it to our pre-made canvas. I'm still gonna dry fit at first so I know exactly where they go.
enjoyed this video. I hope you like the art and as you can see you can customize it in many beautiful colors so it could fit your decor and uh, the mood of your space. So yes, um, let me know in the comments if you like it or not uh, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye!